Hello guys, I hope you're okay. Let's start our analysis for gold. Um, today is uh, 18th of June, but our analysis is for the next day, which is 99, uh, 9th of June, 2023. Uh, so starting with Forex Factory, which is already open on my screen. And uh, we got here some uh, heavy impact news only on CAD, which we're not really interested in. There's no heavy impact news. Uh, in US dollar. So this is, we're not interested much in the news. Uh, however, this uh, CAD news uh, can affect the price a little bit uh, uh, depending on the other situations. Uh, but we will trade uh, always mainly on technical, but the news is the the driver of technical in other ways. Uh, so it give market more speed if you like. If you're going to put in a simple way, so let's go to Dixie. What's happening, in Dixie? Today, Dixie moved very well uh, to the downside. Uh, as you can see, daily chart is a lot of movement here, and the gold daily chart is moved to the upside. As you can see, there's still a few hours left before the market closed for today. Uh, and Dixie, uh, in one hour, as you can see, this. Uh, that was a support level in one hour, which is broken. What we can expect now, technically retest this and come to this level and retest, uh, and come to this level, retest here and go down, or even it can go deeper, retest as well. Uh, and go up there before moving to the downside. Right, um, there's no guarantee in markets, guys. Uh, this is just the uh, usual market behavior, uh, what is presented in these analyses. So always um, go what you see, not what you think or what you what somebody have told you or you've seen it in a video. You must have good practice before you put uh, all your knowledge into uh trading so here is clearly this level is broken but as you can see this is this is another level this is another level as well so there's no guarantee the market have to go straight down but also look what the rsa where the rsi stands so it's possible the market go up or at least range here before it rectifies the rsi and if it goes up there and then possibly to the downside so we always have to um, see more than one factor uh, probabilities that's what matters so a combination of probabilities can give you a good trade all right now uh, that was the Dixie story and uh, now the what's the story with the gold Uh, tomorrow is Friday, the end of the week, and normally I have noticed that uh, market goes in one direction uh, on a weekly basis. But if it goes in one direction, as you can see, weekly market, this was, uh, market was bearish initially from here, then came down, broke this level, and now came to this level, now it's retesting this level. So is it possible? The market come down tomorrow. It is very much possible. That's a daily time frame now. The market today, what he had, and then the double bottom, the market went up, and the news was in the favor as well because the data was negative. Uh, so gold went up, and it was also on the level as well. So a combination of level and data made the gold go up. So always, you know, we can see the candlestick pattern. That so the important thing is when is there's a market, market opens and when it closes and when, you know, more traders are here to look for these things. So the more traders in the market um, opens are, uh, and there's more liquidity in the market and you can have good trades. So what you do, you just uh, put a trade on and uh, get the most of the profit. For example, here, well, I do a lot of mostly. Uh, when this is broken, you're gonna put a trade here. 
when the market is fast, especially the, when the news, there's no, there's no necessarily, there's no test. The, the data was too much negative. As you can see here, the data was for today was too much negative. Uh, it's a 261 and previous were 233 and 236 was expected. So it's too much negative data. So hence the putting the trade here and you always take the profit to the next level. I mean, go to five minute chart. And uh, that was a level here. So you could have take a profit here as soon as this is broken the 50 uh, pips straight away and the rest of the uh, trade you can uh, trade uh, close most of the trade here like 70 80 percent and the rest of the trade you can keep running up to this level or whenever you think it's it's possible that market can go up so what you can do, you can go smaller time break even it and just leave it running. That's, this is how you manage your risk, guys. And always trade according to your plan and do not take much risk. So but the people who uh, blow their account, how they do it? Because they take too much risk. And when, for example, if your account does not allow you, for example, you took a buy trade here. And your car doesn't allow, allow that you took a big lot, and then as soon as you come down, all you can't possibly could watch if you took a big lot. So uh, you have to consider the leverage as well. So just taking having a too much leverage is you can't if you can't manage it, manage it, then it's useless. So make sure you have a and nothing wrong with having a. Uh, Larger, uh, bigger leverage, but if you do not do not know how to manage the leverage, and if you don't know uh, by using that leverage and when to use it and uh, and how much lots I have to put in, there's no point uh, having a, a lot of leverage. So always uh, calculate these things. These are the risk. Come, these things come in under risk management. So if you want me, to, um, uh, if you want me to make a video on the risk management side, please do comment. And I'll make a video so that can help you how to manage the risk. So now, now you know the levels. This is a level. These levels were mentioned yesterday as well. These are levels. And we can expect a retest here. We can, because this is a level here, we can, this is a one hour time frame. Market can come up to here and go up or whatever. You never know what the market gonna happen in the market. Uh, to the downside, that, that can be another scenario. However, these are the levels and uh, looking for tomorrow night, we trade according to the level. The level is broken, we will take it to the downside, we'll take a sell trade on retest. And if it's broken to the upside, we'll take a upside trade on the retest. Uh, this is the usual practice, but however, this, this, as I said, this is a more of a liquidity in the uh, more uh, speed in the market, the news or some bigger event or um, a more uh, a bigger level is broken, then you can expect no retest or even a smaller to retest market doesn't even retest. So that, I hope this is helpful. Just, just always stick with the levels and uh, I'm probably the market will uh, move to one direction tomorrow as well. So let's see if it goes to the upside and that would be that next level, 1980 level. And if it goes to the downside, that is the 1940 level. 19. There's a few levels, so let's see how the market behaves. So always uh, test uh, check in small time frames while you are analyzing the market when you're trading. You should know what's going on the smaller time frames. So I hope this is helpful, guys, and um, you have a good day and good night. Thank you. Bye bye.